Good evening. What was a very popular summertime attraction, raising millions of dollars and bringing tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people to Erie, will no longer continue. Today, the Roar on the Shore board directors announcing that they reached a point in time where they will no longer hold that bike week. Brian Wilk joins us now downtown with more on the board's decision to end the five-day rally. Shana Jill, usually State Street would be lined up with motorcycles during this five-day event, but the, uh, the board of directors say there's a multitude of factors that brought them there to their decision, but they did not go into great detail. In 2019, the rally was moved from downtown to the Lake Erie Speedway with mixed reviews. It was suspended in 2020 after the director, Ralph Pontillo, passed away and because of the pandemic. Now, Roar on the Shore was created in 2007 to promote the community, the city of Erie, and northwestern Pennsylvania, and to bring awareness and raise funds to local charities. The rally drew more than 100,000 visitors to Erie each year. It also generated nearly $25 million in economic boost annually to the region. And the five-day bike rally also raised and donated about a million dollars to various local uh, charities, including um, the John Kansas Research, as well as the Shriners Club. Now, coming up uh, later, we'll hear from some of those businesses and organizations that relied heavily on the revenue that the bikers uh, brought in.